Welcome back to another video. So today's topic is going to be, is breakfast the most important meal of the day? So I'm sure you've been told for years and years by like your parents, by the magazines, by the media, by probably your personal trainer, your gym instructor, that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and you should always get up, eat something to fuel the rest of the day. So I'm gonna come at, with you, come at you with my theory and then for and against, pros and for, pros and for, that's the same thing, pros and cons for whether breakfast is the most important meal of the day. First things first, depends on your goals. This, it must be the most annoying phrase in health and fitness, but it depends, so depends whether your goal is fat loss, it depends whether your goal is muscle building, it depends when you're working out, are you working out in the morning, you're working out later on, it depends if you've got time, it depends do you even like breakfast, um, it depends how you feel after eating certain foods, um, it depends if you've got time, so many different things. Um, I can't cover everything so I'm just going to cover the basics and, and what I think. Right, let's go back to fat loss. So. In order to lose fat, you need to be consuming less calories than you are burning. You need to be in a calorie deficit, okay? So you either need to be eating less or moving more. So if you don't like breakfast, what is the point in forcing yourself to eat 500 calories early on in the day when those 500 calories could be better off eating later on in the evening or when you're actually hungry, so like after dinner or whatever? So take for example myself, when I get up in the morning, like I'm just not hungry, like I don't need to eat anything. It is now 11 o'clock and I got up at half four and I've still not eaten, I've just done my workout, I've had clients and I feel absolutely fine. Give me about 10 minutes or so and I will be really hungry, but if I'd have eaten four or 500 calorie breakfast this morning, chances are later on I'm gonna be absolutely even more starving than I normally am and I'm gonna end up overeating. So if you're somebody who wants fat loss, doesn't like eating breakfast don't force yourself to eat it okay it's just not necessary you want to be performing some sort of like fasting pushing all your calories to later on in the day when they'll be better served um, on the flip side if muscle gain is your own um, priority chances are you're gonna have to be eating more you are gonna have to be eating more and that may mean that in order to get however many calories in during the day you do need to eat breakfast because it simply might mean that you can't eat that much later on in the day so you might get to the end of the day and have like 3,000 calories to eat and be like I, I just physically can't eat that amount of calories so for somebody who is looking to build muscle they might be better spreading their calories out evenly throughout the day just to ensure like satiation like they don't feel sick from eating too much later on just what works for you um, in terms of let's look at when you're working out so if you are working out in the morning it has been shown that you don't need to eat a pro or drink a protein shake as soon as you finish with your workout like otherwise your muscles are going to waste away or it's not going to be worth the effort that you've put in according to like studies and a lot of stuff that i think it's brad schoenfield's done and alan aragon they've like they've dispelled that myth that you need to eat straight away so you've probably got about an hour post workout window of one to two hours where you probably do need to get some sort of fuel in you some form of protein some form of carbs just to restore your glycogen levels just keep everything topped up just to ensure that you're recovering to the best of your ability so if you work out first thing in the morning, don't wait until lunchtime to eat something. Just try and get a little bit of something in you within an hour, two hours, something like a protein shake, something like some fruit, if you haven't got on hand like an actual full breakfast. Um, if you are working out later on in the day, again, it doesn't really matter. You probably should be fine. In terms of fueling your workout, if, you'd like, if you're working out at six o'clock in the morning, if you don't feel like eating, don't eat. I, there's no way that I would be able to get up, eat something, and then train at six o'clock in the morning. I just feel sick. And because I eat a bit later on at night, that, is, that fuel is still gonna be in my body to burn off the next, um, the following morning, so I don't need to get anything in, in the morning. But on the flip side, if you are somebody who feels like they need something in their bodies, eat, have something to eat, okay? So don't go off what I'm saying, off whatever, whatever somebody else is saying, whatever other guru that you follow on social media. If you get to the gym at six o'clock in the morning and you feel weak, you feel tired, and you feel like you've got no fuel in you, for goodness sake, please eat something the next time, okay? So that might just be that you have like a protein bar. It might be that you have like half your protein shake before you work out and half your protein shake afterwards. It might mean that you have a banana. Find what works for you. There is no one shoe fits all. 
I'm just giving you like different um, different types of things to like actually like think about rather than being like you've got to do this there is no one way to do everything there's no one best method to a lose fat put on muscle to whether you need to eat breakfast whether you don't need to eat breakfast there's so many different variables my biggest piece of advice would be experiment with yourself and find what works for you so i know from past experience like eating before working out in the morning just doesn't work for me so i don't do it um, but I know that I've got a couple of clients who have to eat breakfast before they come and train in the morning so they have to get up earlier and get some fuel in them so otherwise they just can't perform to the best of their ability and that's almost like defeating the object of coming to the gym if you can't perform optimally then there's not as much point in coming okay so you need to find that balance you need to strike a balance so try eating breakfast try not eating breakfast again if fat loss is your goal and you've just always eaten breakfast just because you've been told to maybe try not eating breakfast maybe like hold off your meal until lunchtime and see how you get on there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if you want some more advice or you're, you've still got a couple of questions on the subject shoot me a message leave a comment down below um, i always leave my details to all my social media handles down below but yeah come at me, let me know what you think and if you've got any other big questions that you want answering, send them my way and I'll do my best. Um, I will speak to you soon. Bye.